so glad that you're joining us back again for another week to learn more about God and to worship Him. So we are now in week three of learning with our fun sandbox theme, and we are continuing to learn about someone who loves us. So who loves you? Jesus does, right? Jesus loves us, and we're continuing to learn that as we talk through some Bible stories this month. So today, we are learning a story about some soldiers. Now, when we think about a soldier, we might think about someone who is marching. Can you show me how to march? Get up on your feet and march, 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 march. Yeah, so sometimes we might think of a soldier as someone who might march. Or the special soldier that we're talking about today, they were called centurions. That's a tricky word. Can you say it? Centurions. So our story is about centurions, and they were kind of like the leaders of all the soldiers and the leaders of the army. And they were very um, important people. And so all the other soldiers would listen to the centurion because they were kind of the ones in charge. But the centurion in our story today, he believed that Jesus was even more important. And this centurion, he needed Jesus' help. So we're going to find out today what happened with Jesus and the centurion. And so we're going to go um, listen in to the story from our friends at the clubhouse. And we have our worship song to sing as well today. So I'll see you back in just a few.
friends. Welcome to the clubhouse. It's me, Zoe, and I'm so happy to see you today. As you can tell, I'm having so much fun. Do you know what I'm doing? That's right, I'm building a super duper sandcastle. And everyone knows that a super duper sandcastle needs a moat. I'm going to dig and dig and dig all the way around my sandcastle. Hey, I better start getting to work. This is taking so long and I've been working so hard. I don't know if I can do this by myself. What am I gonna do? Who? Who? It's Ollie! Hello there, Zoe. Who? Who? Digging a moat, are you? Hi, Ollie. Well, I'm trying to. It's been taking so long and I've been working so hard and I'm feeling kind of frustrated, Ollie. I'm sorry you're feeling so blue, but I have just the story for you. Listen to this. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. There you go, you got it. Oh, hi friends. Stormy and her friend Goldie are playing ball. For a while, Goldie was trying to hold the ball on her nose by herself and it was hard. But then Stormy came to help and now they're playing. <laughs> Isn't that what good friends do? They help each other, which reminds me of a story. Today's true story from the Bible starts with Jesus walking into a city to do some important work when a centurion came up to him. Wow, look at that cool armor he's wearing. Centurions were leaders in the army. They were big and important, but this centurion believed that Jesus was even more important and he needed Jesus' help. Jesus, he said, my servant is at home and he is very, very sick. Please, I need your help to make him better. Now remember, Jesus was busy. He was on his way to do important work. But do you think that stopped him from helping the centurion? <laughs> no way. Jesus said, do you want me to come to your house and make him better? But the centurion said, Jesus, you are way too special to come to my house. I know you can just say it and he will get better. And that's exactly what Jesus did. Jesus told the centurion to go home and the servant would be all better. And he was. Wow, Jesus is such a good friend. Jesus heard someone needed his help and he helped them. Jesus loved the centurion and his servant just like he loves you. That's why Jesus wants to be your friend forever because he loves you very much. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Ollie, tell me, who loves you? Jesus loves me. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who loves you? Jesus loves me. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Bye. So there's your story. It's all true. Jesus helped the centurion, and he can help all of us, too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow. That was such a great story. Jesus helped the centurion when he needed him, and Jesus can help all of us too. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good. You know what? I'm gonna pray and ask Jesus if he can keep helping me to keep working hard and finish this moat. And I may ask a few friends to help me too. I'll see you next time. Bye! A friend loves at all times. Proverbs 17, 17. A friend loves at all times. Proverbs 17, 17. What 
what an amazing story that we heard today. So Jesus, he told the centurion to go home and that the servant would be all better. Do you think that the servant was better when he went home? Absolutely, yes, he was. Jesus was such a good friend to the centurion. Jesus heard that someone needed help and Jesus helped him. Jesus loves the centurion and his servant and who else does Jesus love? You and me, he loves all of us and Jesus wants to be our friend. So who loves you? Jesus loves you and make sure that you remember that. Let's close our eyes and say our prayer. Dear God, thank you for this story today that we can learn and see how much Jesus cares for people and how much he also cares and loves us. Help us to show that love to other people too. We love you in Jesus name. Amen. Okay, friends, I hope you have enjoyed our time learning and worshiping today, and I will see you back next week.